Last nine, number one, Tennessee men's tennis lost to number seven, South Carolina, because in the third set of a tiebreaker on Angel Diaz's court, which is court three for the match, he was overruled his fourth time, which meant game penalty. And then the time, during the time, it was like six all, tiebreaker, 1-0, Tennessee up, Angel Diaz is up. He called a serve long. He got overruled. And the thing is, sure, you might not like the call, but here's the deal. He was overruled three times prior. He could have been better in calling balls in or out. I mean, and the thing is, cheaters never win anyway. And and hopefully every player is on notice because it could ultimately cost someone a match. And in this case, it did. But... First two warning uh, overrules, nothing. Third one, point penalty. Fourth one, game penalty. Fifth one, match is done, which is good because you can't have back calls every time or nearly every time, and they don't want to really want to overrule either. But they, t but look, you should never have been in that situation before. If you're Angel Diaz. You should be disappointed in yourself you didn't get that match in straight sets after a 6-0 first set win. Or Tennessee in general. I mean, they took doubles point, but they lost four, the top four in a singles lineup. They took five and six, but not the top four. I don't want to say one guy cost them the match because it was multiple guys, but it was three all, and it was up to that him in the tiebreaker in the third set. But look. You should have known better. And I know Angel Diaz is known for hosing matches, with, as in like calling in or out pretty bad. Because I heard he's done that in the past. Hopefully he'll learn his lesson. And every player in the country knows they can't be like that. Because eventually they're going to just gonna cost him down the road. I'll show the video in the description below and the score line. I'm sure it was 1-0, but the thing is, an overrule for four time is game penalty. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.